Mm. So I said to the vicar, if you do that again, you're not coming round anymore. Dear, oh dear. Are we on? Mm -hmm. Are I we think on? We are. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a nice little walk here this morning? It was a bit chilly. It was a bit chilly. I came on my scooter. It wasn't too bad for me uh, because I'm speed. What? Apologies. Oh yeah, apologies. We're a little bit late because Barry had problems twiggling his uh, what are they? Dials or whatever they're called. I'm trying to think of the appropriate word. Anyway, we're here at long last, and we're going to have a got two different techniques today, Anne. That's good. Um, Anne's not seen these, so I'm showing Anne at the same time. You see, so we're doing faux parchment. We're doing a nice Christmas rose design, and it's basically people love doing well parchment crafting, but a lot of people think oh, it's a lot of very fiddly, isn't it? Very fiddly. You get it takes you a week to do this, that, and the other. So what we've got, we've got. Mm -hmm. I've turned it. it uh, my phone just pinged, but I put it on. I put it on airport standby. Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. Airplane mode. Airplane mode. That's yeah. the word I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're doing some faux parchment. I'll, I'll show you. It's better. I'll explain it. If you have a look at this. Now, on this one, you'll be able to print out. I'm going to show you all the things that you can print out and what you can do with them. This is going to make an A5 card. So you can cut round this section. It looks like it's it's uh, parchment done. But it's not, it's actually printed onto a thin paper. But I'll show you something else in a minute. So we're going to be using this, and there's various ways you can do that. We're going to have a go at making different things. You've also got the step-by-step C, -step you've got the 3D sheets. So if you want to cut those out and layer over, make a different design, you can do that with playing around. You've also got in the download, you've got four of the background sheets with the same design on, but you've got them in different sizes there. That allows you to do lots of different crafting projects and have fun with those. So a little Prezi to get creative here for you. Now the other option is as well, you can print onto parchment. This is actually just tracing paper. It's all I could find, it's not proper, proper parchment. But um, it's very thin, so I have to be a bit careful. But this is printed parchment effect, faux. faux. What does faux mean? False. False. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it French? Yeah. Is it? Yes. You teach French, don't you? I do. Yes. Oh, she's posh. <laughs> she's posh. Comment ça va? Ça just, va bien? Ah, je suis petit pois. Really? Si. Oh, no, that's Italian. That's Italian. Italian. Yeah. yeah. Oui. Oui. Yes, oh, that's French. Anyway, yeah. back to the parchment. <laughs> I printed this onto just oh. some. Uh, should you clack you? I'm adding a little bit of interest to the morning. I'm not saying this is it. I'm having a little bit of a little conversation with people. So you're sat in there representing misery in its many forms. Mm -hmm. Right. We're trying to give it character this show. That's why you're sat there in the corner with a face like I don't like a slap bottom. Right, we've printed this onto uh, uh, tracing paper and I'll show you what you can do with this. I'll do this. And you've also got this as well. So it's up to you what you want to do. But once you've actually watched us all morning, you can go and play around with what you want. So if you're watching us live and you want to join in, you just print out the papers that you need. I would do if I was you. I can't pick them up. Where are they? And where would they find the papers? What? Where will they find the papers? You will find the papers if you scroll down and find the link that Barry has so nicely provided for you. And you'll just click on that, it will take you to his website. And there it, you will just put your email address on, which we don't use for any other purposes. Trust us. And then you can download it and use it any time you like. See, that went posh. I can do it posh when posh. I want to. Mm -hmm. I can do posh. Anyway, you, good morning, everybody. Let's, uh, where are you going? Good morning. I'm saying good morning. Oh, they're all over the place. Where was the lady from last week? South Africa. And we've got Saudi Arabia, Holland. France, Holland. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're bilingual, aren't we? What Something like that. What is it? Bi geographical? I don't know, but move on. Oh, the voice from Doom has spoken up. Anyway, we're going to give you time to print off what papers you want, and we should be back in 10 minutes or so. I'll let you catch up. All right, see you soon. Well, we're back. We welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Well, we're busy here playing with our Christmas roses, and uh, 
be nice to see everybody thanks for the messages i've tried to reply as much as i could if you don't come to the shots quick enough i'm gonna to have to tell you you're supposed to give me a hint like look at the camera i was i was like that i was like that and you were no, just you down were, you were on hands looking somewhere in the ceiling oh he's off he's off i was not what you, you were i can't even look at the ceiling you're looking up that way why would i look that way move on anyway i don't want to hear about our spats Try and it's not a spat, it's me indicating that you don't know what you're doing. There, there is an expression, but it's too, I'm too polite to use it. I'm very pleased to hear it, Barry. Mm. So, have you printed off what you're doing yet? Or are you watching a repeat and you give you time to do it anyway? Did you say that a bit more patronizing to me? What, what did I say? Have you printed off what you need? No, you read it wrong. Mm. I'm just being concerned. Have yeah. you? Have you? Have you printed off what you do? You, you need to do. Tummy tickled. Do you want your tummy tickled? Do you? Yeah. Do you? Do you want your tummy tickled? No thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. That would be harassment. It would, yeah. Uh. <laughs> so we won't go there. No. no. Right. What have you been doing, Anne? Right. So far, I have been cutting bits out. So I've cut out. So I've used the bit. paper. I've used the paper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've cut out the backing bit, and I'm cutting out all of the little bits, so that I can. So you're going to assemble. layer them up. So you're yep. going to have a make, have a go at making different things, cards, etc. Yes, and I think I'll use some of that gold. We've got some gold. We've outline got some, it as well. We've got some gold and silver card here, which we're going to play with. Mm -hmm. You can play with what you want. Don't forget, this is get creative. So we're here just showing you what we're doing. You can copy it if you want, or you can pick up ideas and what have you. So Anne's doing that with the paper. Mm -hmm. And once you've got these printed off, there's lots of different things you can do with them. I've printed this one onto the thin. Well, this is like a tracing paper, but it is too thin for embossing because your embosser will go through but I'll have a go but what I'm going to do I'm going to do it onto silver but what I've done I've cut I don't know if you can see that I've cut started cutting out the center bits here where the red is I'm going to mount that onto some silver I've got some really good glue that works well with uh, parchment and very thin papers so I'll show you that in a bit and then I'm going to have the silver coming through and then I'll probably cut some of these out and do some mounting as it was uh, so I don't know it's a work in progress it's a work in progress so we're busy here working away if you've got when you've finished at the end of it even if it's later in the day or tomorrow send us pictures of what you're making so Anne's working on the paper ones yes and she's doing 3d work there mm -hmm. I'm working on the same design but I've, on this this is on tracing paper and I'm doing something a little bit different. And again, because it's creative, we're creating it as we go along, you see. We don't know what we'll have in the end. Well, I hope it's not, not a dog's iron leg. Well, I hope not. Uh, we'll do our best. Anyway, we've got another hour and a half, so to speak. So we'll crack on and uh, just letting you know what we're up to. But if you want to do the simpler version, uh, uh, which Anne is going to be simple. <laughs> not, not to your face. Okay. Uh, you can use the paper... But I'm giving you an, an alternative. Anyway, we'll crack on and then show you the next day. Show you what we're up to a little bit later on. Tootle for now. Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back. I've uh, had an idea while you were away. I thought I'd use this uh, product that we've been using this week called Zip Dry. And it's fantastic for working with parchment, etc, etc. Now, this is a bit of, um, of um, cutting edge crafting. We're experimenting as we go along now this this glue is perfect for thin uh, papers tissues all that kind of thing because it doesn't wrinkle as it dries now it does come with an applicator where you can find tip so you can use that but I have thought and we're experimenting live here mm -hmm. never done this before Ooh. but I thought you could if you use it you could also use maybe we're gonna find out now I want to stick this down onto a piece of silver card so together if we have a look at this, Chucks, there's my buckle. I've got my lid. Now I'm going to have a go between us of sticking this down onto the silver, just using the cotton wool. I think a cotton wool bud would work fantastic, but I might look an idiot in ten, ten, five minutes. And I'm just smearing that on like that, very thinly. It's great for working on parchments. And I thought there's no reason why this can't work. So let's have a go because you've got a fine tip applicator. You can put this on 
very thinly. You can smell it very gently. It's nice. And then just smear that on like that. I think I'm hoping this is going to be a really good way of using this glue. And then take your whatever you're going to stick it to. I'm sticking it to this piece of silver card. And then just lay this down. I'm going to have an edge around it like so and then just gently press it down from the inside outwards look at that that does look good it does work doesn't it yeah, it Actually, does if I come up to you a second can you like can you lay it flat mm -hmm. can you move it a bit more that way which way that way this way that's it about, just about there yeah. oh, you keep talking to the nice people at home why because i'm going to zoom in on it oh are you yeah so just Ooh. keep talking there you go, that's lovely in fact. It's not wrinkled the parchment at all. Right. This is really, really thin Can parchment. You... What? I said talk to them while I zoom in on it. Are you not Oh, awake? see, listen, when you put your lid on, because it's an evaporating glue, so the okay. more it evaporates, the thicker it gets. So mm -hmm. always put your lid on in between. Have you zoomed in? I have. Right. There you go, yeah, you can see. Hang on, just turn it around so you can see where it is. Just a second. What? I can go, I can take direction. Oh, well done. Right, you keep it there. It's not moving, or is now. It is. There you go, you can see that. That's stuck down there. You've not got that glue bleeding through. You've not got, you've not got the bleeding you've not got the bleeding glue. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> How dare you know me so well. <laughs> there you go, that worked okay, didn't it? I like that. That looks so, really good. Yeah, so if you're using very thin papers, tissues, this is almost like a tissue, good glue to get zip dry first time i've used it this week it's really really good anyway that's as far as i've got what i'm going to do now is trim around this and then do my 3d bits but i think that's worked out quite well we can see the silver shining through so what are you up to i've finished cutting out all the bits mm -hmm. so i think i'm going to use a bit of the gold card a bit of gold card let's get you a bit of gold card thank yeah. you gold. there you go and i'm going to put this on top of Mm -hmm. the gold so i've got a little board tell you what you could do mm -hmm. let's stick it on a piece of silver first Ooh, and then yes. trim around it and then you've got a, a silver trim uh -huh. and then that'll be on the gold that sounds good there you go that sounds we'll do, good. it's called matte and layering okay i think you know that don't you anyway we'll I carry on we'll carry on show you a little bit later but i thought it'd be interesting i thought we'd do a live a demonstration an experiment at the beginning there just uh, as things happen we just do it all right, we'll carry on creating. Uh, see you in a bit, Jocks. Right, as you can see, I've moved on. I'm really pleased with that glue. It's fantastic. And I've just asked Barry as well. He's just told me that we've got it on the website, alanandbarry.co.uk. So if you want some of that glue, it's on There's there. Is, oh, have you put a link put on? A link on. Okay. Well, we don't normally, it's not, get creative is like independent from alanandbarry.co.uk but they're kind of mingling a little bit and sometimes it's like oh we're not we cross contaminated we cross contaminated <laughs> that sounds bad i'm cross contaminated <laughs> sounds good and we always kind of shy away from promoting the other website but i mean I can't help it's like having Tourette's and can't you know you just can't so if there's some promotion in there and that don't worry about it in the future we're not going to ram it down your throat uh, let's move on. Right, let's have a look at this. You can see what how this is building up now. Uh, that, I'm really pleased with that glue. That's really good. Look at that. That's that glue there, zip dry. I've not used it until this week, but it's really good. It doesn't wrinkle anything. Look at you're that. Drop, you're dropping into blatant commercialisation. No, I'm not. I'm just pleased with it. If you've got it's it, plant happy. it. Yeah, right. I've stuck that onto there, and you can see the silver showing through. Then I've stuck that onto some white paper. Give a little board around and now i've stuck that onto gold now i'm going to cut out all my little bits and pieces to just to filigree this i think i'll put that on a white card i think that'll look quite classy now don't forget you can also emboss if you want to i've got a little piece of foam here unfortunately this uh this tracing paper is much too thin to really emboss with but i'll give you the idea i'll try and be gentle so say you've got this, this is on the printed side and that's the back side there. Now if you turn it over you can see the actual designs. Now I'm going to try and give these leaves a little bit more definition. So just gently, like you would embossing, 
when you're doing your embossing there you can see there I'm just stroking it through I'm trying not to press too hard because I don't want to go through the tracing paper but I nearly did it then I'm just gently rubbing over there creating veins inside as you can see creating veins inside there so this is like faux parchment but it doesn't mean you don't you can't do some parchment crafting on it so you can print it out you've got your basic design and then we're just adding a little bit more definition and I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that there can you see that's different from that Anne? I can see it yeah yeah it's but raised up there and it's slightly yeah exactly a bit more difficult to see on camera there but it's actually giving it a more of a definition now if this was stronger paper parchment paper I could press harder and that would have given more kind of basically what happens it stretches the parchment and it makes the paper a little bit more opaque so you get more of a definition you can't see it very well or if you're doing this here you could add say some little dots in the center there just a little bit of embossing there going round like so you probably i don't know why i'm doing it because you're probably not gonna be able to see and can see it you can, can see, see that it, yeah. can't you yeah i can and if i turn that over you've got more of a defined look but because it's too thin i don't want to press too hard and have loads of scraggy bits of of uh, parchment so i've got that far i'm going to cut some of this out in parchment and i think i'll use that glue again to stick it down um, because you're not got the foam pads in between to give it lift I'm going to try a different technique where maybe I might curl some of the leaves I don't know we'll have a little experiment anyway I'm going to carry on cutting these bits and pieces out how are you doing um I'm not doing too bad I think I made my border here a little bit too narrow so you next know, time I do it wider it's your creative choice it is it's never a yes. mistake so you've done you stuck the paper version onto yes. some silver yeah and some white and now you've put it onto gold that's right okay there we go, that's what we're doing. Hope you're enjoying doing what you're doing at home. Don't forget, send us some pictures at the end or later on of what you're doing. Anyway, we'll be back soon with the next instalment of <laughs> what the hell are we doing? Welcome back, everybody. Well, we've moved on here. I've got that section there done already. That's all stuck out. What are you up to, Anne? Um, I've layered up the leaves and the flowers. Mm -hmm. So um, I've used foam pads for those? I've used foam pads to give it a bit of height. Uh -huh. I've offset them a bit. I haven't put them lining up with a picture underneath nice. to give it a bit more volume. And you've added more leaves to give in different areas. Uh -huh. Oh, it's nice you've got it coming over the top. Yeah, I thought that would look good. And yeah. I'm just about to start trying to stick some berries on. Mm. So it looks like parchment craft, but it's not. Mm. That's all paper. Now, if you have a look at what I've been doing, I did uh, onto the... Uh, uh, tracing paper very thin not really not really what it should be used for but then I cut these sections out to show the silver matte and layered and that now I've cut all the little bits and pieces out there ready to go and these are done in the tracing paper or parchment I've not bothered embossing them all because I'm going to play around with them differently but what I'm going to do is just take a pen and just hold one tip of the leaves hold that down and I'm just going to give them a little bit of body uh, just 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 turn them over like that so I think I'll have it going that way should I it doesn't matter it depends on which way you want it to curl up or down I think I'll do it that way that's the right way around and that way I think I'll have that way so you can do that in different ways you can use like this hold it down with a pen and drag it around and you get that curl effect or you can just do it between your fingers like that and just roll it over now I'm going to carry on experimenting with this glue and I'm going to use a uh, cotton wool tip again and I'm going to apply these onto here now you can't normally do this with parchment because you see through but this glue is so thin uh, you, can, you can't really see anything once it's dried make sure I get this the right way around that's the way the design goes and now I've got my glue there just going to put my cotton wool tip in the middle there and just apply a little bit of glue on the end there like so and then that can stick in here but I'm just going to slightly off center it there like that and just stick that end bit down so then you can go around a little bit of glue in the middle and just stick that down there like that 
So I'm going round just adding the uh, bits and pieces as I go along. And I say I'm just using this really fast drying glue that gives it that, which works great with the parchment. So a little bit of glue on the end there. That can go there. You can slide bits underneath if you want to. So just carry on adding bits as you go along. Little glue that can go in there. And I quite like that because it's uh, you've not got it's, and use the foam pad so you get that lift. This is a bit more like a wafer thin effect. Looks really good. I like it. So it's it's kind of you can because it's uh, transparent. You can see through. I know you can't normally stick things down that are this thin without seeing the glue but this time it's working nicely stick that there so i'm just going to build this up so uh and what have you learned today um what have i learned today um <laughs> i'm throwing that's stuff a good question that's what a good, have i learned today nothing you can say <laughs> I think I might stick mm, I'm sure I learnt something. I just can't think what it is on the spur of the moment. <laughs> well, you mat and lower it. Oh, yes, mat and layering. I've done mat that. Mat and lowering. Mat and lowering. <laughs> You've been lowering things for a while. <laughs> something like that. Mm. No, not you, I'm him. You would never lower it. I would never, never, you never, would never. never. raise the tone of anything. Absolutely. Yes, really? <laughs> well, maybe not. Mm. I'd try. you try. There you go, I'm just adding these bits and pieces. I think I quite, do you like, what do you think of these, like, wafer thin effect? That looks really nice. It's almost like gossamer. Yeah. Oh, yes, good word. Gossamer. A bit of glue on there. And it's good, the first time I've done it with the cotton wool uh, buds there, and you just stroke a little bit on the back and stick it down, like so. And you don't need much, because it really sticks well. And then slide that underneath there i'm enjoying doing this how are you doing at home send us some messages let us know what you think if you've got any questions let us know okay uh i'm gonna to to stick this down don't want my glue uh going off uh if you've got any messages send us a message doesn't matter if it's a repeat or anything we're always checking to see if there's any messages there we want to send to you got any questions just ask them and we'll try and answer them. Don't forget, you can always go to the website. We've got thousands of demonstrations on there. It's alanandbarry.co.uk. Have a good look round. You've got your 24-hour channels. If you want to join Get Creative, well, you already have because you're watching, please tell your friends because we can grow and grow and grow. It's not just on Facebook. You can go to alanandbarry.co.uk and in there, if you put in Get Creative, you can go to that category and you've got there, you've got your own channel. You've got all the products that we've done over the last few months. They're still all downloadable for free. You've got all the demonstrations there that you can watch. So uh, I don't know why you wouldn't go. You can stop snoring. Clacky face. What are you doing now? Close up. Oh, close up. Oh, oh. Barry, do close up. There, you good boy. Who's a good boy? Add that into there. I love this glue. So I love that you discover new things, oh, sort of old things like barre. Right, we're done for now then. Right, I'm going to carry on finishing this off and then I'm going to stick it onto a card, but that would make a nice picture, wouldn't it? It would, wouldn't it? That would be good. I think I might Ooh. stick one down here. Once you've got the designs, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to stick that in there and we'll come back to you in a bit. All right, Chucks, carry on. And we're back to the final stage of the Get Creative uh, here at Creative Mansion. <laughs> well, not exactly mansion. Uh, anyway, finished ours. We finished ours. We've well, got yeah. loads more we could do, but we're going to leave you for today and we'll put a picture on later what we've done. So, Anne, talk us through yours. Okay, so I layered up all the leaves and I put on some holly berries up at the top there. I've got some of my leaves coming out across the border mm -hmm. and I've stuck the whole lot onto a piece of white card so it makes a, a Christmas card. A nice Christmas card. Yep. That looks lovely. Yours stands out more than yours, more than mine, because yours is on paper so you get mm -hmm. more of a vivid colour. And I think oh. using the foam pads and lifting it up yeah. makes it stand more out definition. more definition. Yep. 
Well, I did a different technique. I printed onto the, uh, well, it was tracing paper, but you should really use proper parchment paper. And then I, I could have done some embossing, but it was too thin to do that. And I've cut out matte and layered similar, but I actually cut out these sections here, stuck it onto some silver card, matte and layered onto white, gold, and then I've stuck it onto a white card. So they're very similar, but just by using different techniques and different mediums, you can see there you get two totally different effects. Now one effect I thought would look quite nice, I don't know quite now how to use it that yet, but have you seen those like rounded um, photo frames? And that look lovely when it's got like a bend on it. So that could be, see we're getting ideas as we're going yeah. along. Yeah. That could make a nice picture as well for Christmas or all year round. Mm -hmm. But any of your uh, designs that you've got, any designs that you've got, that's just another idea that you can do. Don't think about what you can print onto. We we generally use just white paper because that shows the true colours. But you could put it on pearlescent, you can do it onto parchment, you can do it onto acetate. Lots of different things. So when you get an image or a design, don't just think, oh, I'll just print that onto some 90 gram paper. Think of all the different things you can do with it, which I think is great. Well, listen, that's uh, all from us this week. I say put on there if you want some of the things that you've been making. Do like and share. If you're watching it, please click share. So the more people that see it, the better. So uh, next week, uh, I've not decided what we're doing next week. I'm well, going to put nice these surprise, two yeah. together. A nice little surprise mm -hmm. for you all. But I shall try and do something. I think we've only got two, three weeks maybe uh, before we go. Two, I think. two weeks. Two more weeks. So I'll think of something special over the next two weeks. Um, so there you go. That's for this week. We'll see you next week. Um, I might be on my own. You never know. You're away one week, aren't you, Chuck? I don't know whether I am or not. Oh, yet. well, it doesn't matter. So I might matter. be here, I might not. But we've always got your company, haven't we? I'll always be here. If I'm not, I'm at a wedding getting sloshed. But uh, only to... What does that mean, Anne? It means wind up. I think up. it means wind up. Wind up, finish. Am I rambling? Yeah. Okay. Ta-da. Ha <laughs> ha.